Hi, this is Lena Shea in Iowa Mom. I love springtime. And it makes me think about the birds coming back and laying eggs in their nest. And oh yeah, that reminds me, I got a recipe. We don't wait for spring for that one. We have it for breakfast a lot of times. It's really good and easy to do. I could use ready-made frozen hash browns, but I like making my own. For two servings, I cut a potato in half so it will fit in the chute of my processor. I shred it, then I dab them with paper towels to remove a lot of the moisture that are in the potato. Next, I heat up my frying pan over a medium heat. I'm adding a little olive oil to the pan, and while that's heating up, I'm going to get my eggs ready. I like to put them in individual little bowl, which gives me more control over where those eggs are going to go. This is called a large chicken egg, okay? This one is a duck egg. That's quite a bit different. <laughs> anyway, isn't that pretty? This is from our daughter who raises ducks. I like to crack the egg on a very solid bowl edge, and these little condiment bowls are really nice for this. So I'm cracking them ahead of time so they're ready to go and we do want to have the yolks intact. Once the pan is hot, we're gonna add a little circle of hash browns for each person. We wanna keep them grouped because that's gonna be our nest. As they cook, we can start making a little circle in the middle where the egg is going to go into. Sometimes it takes a little more persuasion, so I do use a wooden spoon as well as a spatula to kind of help form that nest shape. I also like to flatten them out so that those hash browns stick together. And we wait for them to cook. You can see how it's getting brown around the edges, and that means it's time to flip over. So. There we go. We've already got the olive oil on the other side. Well, that one is not as brown. I think it's, this pan does not heat as evenly as a cast iron, but oh well. I do want, I'm going to churn my pan so that it will be hotter on the side of the one that's not done as much. <laughs> Next, we're going to put more olive oil in the center. And then pour that egg in there. Same here. You can see the yolk of that duck egg is so huge compared to the, the chicken egg. We're going to season. I use just a little bit of pepper and salt. Sprinkle. And then we're going to put the lid on. So that will kind of steam the eggs on top, as well as cooking them from underneath. It has been about two minutes more. Take off the lid. You can see where the white is starting to get coagulated, but it is not done. When you see that clear there, that means it's not done. So we are going to flip it over just briefly. Get these guys apart. Come on. Gently, so we don't break that yolk. Our plates are ready. So now we test by just touching. Yep, it feels good. It's just, it's soft. You don't want it to, if it's real jiggly, then we need to give it more time. We can peek underneath. And it's all done. The pretty side, I think, is that side. So that's the side we're going to show. Doesn't take very long on that second side. Now our eggs in the nest are ready to eat. This is Lena Shea, an Iowa mom. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more, go to youtube.com slash an Iowa mom videos. Then click on the video tab for a whole list.